everybody. Ah, uh, welcome to Celebrate Wonder Week 4. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown. I'm here with one of my favorite helpers in the whole world, Luna the Boxer. She helps me so much by being such a great dog and being my friend, and I'm helping what, Luna out. What, what are you guys doing? Well, I'm helping Luna out by scratching her yeah, back. Oh, hi, hi, yeah, I, yeah. And yeah, she's helping Miss Laurie out by licking her face. Yeah, it needs cleaned apparently. Ha 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 ha. Well, welcome to Celebrate mm -hmm. Wonder Week 4 with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown, our lead pastor, and I'm here, of course, with Luna the Boxer, with Miss Laurie, who's our director of children and youth ministries, with Laud the Lamb, and we may yet see Oreo the Wonder Dog come through. <laughs> and we're so glad that you're here for Celebrate Wonder. We hope that you are enjoying all of these weeks that oh <laughs> she's such a good girl oh she's my best girl oh she's helping me so much we hope that you're enjoying all of these weeks if you haven't received a celebrate wonder kit we will try to get one of those out to you as soon as possible just let us know in the church office but we are ready to get going with our week four uh worship here together so let's head inside as we celebrate wonder oh you're so snotty <laughs> Hi everybody, it is week four of Celebrate Wonder. We're here at our wonder table. It looks a little bit different today. I have a couple of helpers with me. This is Cohen, Laud, Addison, and Fritz. And um, we're gonna talk about helpers today. Before we get started, we're gonna light our wonder table candle. We're not gonna light the lamb or the rat. We're simply going to light the candle now, Cohen, how is a way that you help? Uh, uh, I clean um, up the table after dinner. He cleans up the table after dinner. Addison, what's a way that you help? I pick up my room. She picks up her room. And let's say, and I'm not saying that you would ever, of course, have like, soda cans and things like that in your room, perhaps what would we do with those if you had things like that in your room, which I, I know you don't. What would you do with them? Recycle them. Yes. One of the ways that we can be a helper to our earth is recycling, taking care of what we have. Now, we also want to take care of our livestock and our animals and pets. I have a pet under the table who's asleep. So instead, you wanna take care of pets and livestock. We have a chicken here, okay? So you wanna take care of those things. We also want to take care of the, what else, we're kind of standing on it, it's round. We wanna take care of the earth. earth as a whole, some things that we can do. We take care of plants and our gardens. See, there we, that actually needs replanted. Sorry, Edison, my bad. We water, and in your own homes, Edison made a good point. Her dad will be happy of it, she remembered. What do you do when a light's on? Turn it off after you leave the room. You turn it off when you leave the room. These are some things that you can do to help, but we also help people, right? <laughs> we can help people. Luna thinks she's gonna go help somebody right now. But, do you ever help your friends? Yeah. Your teachers? Well, right now, I guess your teacher's me. So your parents, right? What are some other ways that you can help, Cohen? Um. Are you helping me right now? Mm-hmm. Are you helping me right now? Yep. Yep. Are we helping the church right now? Yep. Okay. So think about some ways, Laud. Think about some ways that you can help. <laughs> okay. Okay, our Bible story for today is we're continuing to read in the Bible out of the book of Genesis. And we're in chapter 2 today, and we hope that as a family that you'll read that story out of the Bible together. 
But this part is like the second telling of creation that we have in the Bible. We've been talking about the first one where God creates the heavens and the earth in seven days and how creative God is and all the animals. We've been doing that the last few weeks. Today we have another way of telling how God created the earth and everything in it, where God creates human beings. And God creates Adam by making the first a human out of the dust and breathing life into that human being. And then God creates all of the animals looking for someone to be a helper for that first human being. And even after creating all of the animals, uh, God and that first human go, wow, there's really not a helper here for me. So in this story, we hear how God takes a rib out of the first human and creates another person to be a helper mm -hmm. for that very first human. And they're named Adam and Eve in our story. And it shows us how much that we need help. We need help from one another. Yep. We need to be able to be helpers to each other and to the world and to the creation. It's a great story that we hope you'll share together. But we're going to wonder about it a little bit. We here are going to wonder about that. Let's see. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, that really wasn't a very good toss. I'm sorry. That was neither, but we'll go with it. What did the Bible story teach me? Well, I think the Bible story taught me that we all need somebody. We need each other. Our earth needs us. We need helpers. And we need to be helpers. Not just be helped, but help. I think you're right. Ooh, I'm going to roll. Can I roll? Yeah, you roll. Wonder, where did I see God in the Bible story? Well, oh, wow. I saw God yeah. all over the place. Yes. Creating the human beings and all of the creatures and helping the people find helpers as well. God is a help for us too. Oh, absolutely. God. Like the ultimate helper. Like the ultimate helper. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we're going to get ready to watch our Bible story video that we hope that you'll come in really close and pay attention to. But we're going to have our prayer. I'm going to sneak it up here close for us yes. so that we can pray it together. And um, it's right up there. Miss Laurie's going to pray it for us, and we'll pray after her. Let's pray. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for teaching me. How to be a helper. How to be a helper. May I always help you. May I always help you. And others. And others. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's watch our Bible story video. Greetings, friends. It's Carly. What a beautiful and amazing earth we get to live on. God's creativity imagined something so wonderful, and now we get to look around and see it each and every day. Do you want to hear something really cool? When God created human beings, God didn't just bring them here to sit around. They had an important role to play in creation. God had created so many animals that were living around the earth. But even though they had a home, they didn't have a name. It would be so hard to talk about animals if we didn't know what to call them. God brought the animals to Adam and invited him to name them. Adam got to show creativity and name the animals that were around. The bear, the cheetah, the shark, and the wizard. Wow! God also did something that was really awesome. God saw that everything God had created had a partner. The sun and the moon, the land and the sea, and the animals each had a partner too. God didn't want there to be just one human because that would be too lonely. So God created another human so they could be in a community. They were friends and they needed each other. Now everything that God had created had a partner and all creation could live and grow together. The story of creation is really exciting to me. It reminds me that God creates beautiful and good things. It makes me want to go and look around and see if I see new things. I want to read about new animals and think about how cool it is that the earth is full of such difference and beauty. God made sure the community of creation had all it needed to continue to create. Guess what? That means you and me. We get to create with God. We get to use our imaginations and wonder about all the possibilities of what we can make and what we can do. God celebrates our creativity and has asked humans to use our imagination since the very beginning. So what do you want to create? What do you imagine or see that would be beautiful or helpful in our world today? We all get to play a part and remember, we get to create with God. That's really awesome. Now, 
you get to wonder. Hi everybody, it's time for our craft and this is week four. And in your craft, in your bag, I'm sorry, you had a bunch of slips of paper and some little sticky dot things. So we're eventually going to create a flower. Now, I've already started this one. You're gonna take your little sticky dots here and attach them at the end, peel off the paper. Fold it over, and voila, you have a petal. And then, to attach it to the other petals, you're going to just add sticky dots to them. And you can make your flower as big as you want to make your flower. Now, I've already cut out a little yellow circle for the middle to make it look kind of nice and pretty. Make it look a little more like a flower. And then of course he needs a stem, right? So we're gonna do the same thing. Add a little sticky tab. And moms and dads, these are great. If you're just not feeling glue, you can get them at the craft store. They come in a box and they're pretty inexpensive. So. I'm gonna attach it. So now I have two flowers. Now, I would kind of like to link these flowers together, I think, to show that maybe even flowers help each other. So let's see. I think I'll take one of the blue strips because it's laying out here. I'm gonna weave it through this one and weave it through that one and take a sticky dot. Hmm. Just like that. And you've got two flowers that you could hang up somewhere. I think I'm gonna hang them up over here on my whiteboard. Well, okay, no, I'm not. But you get the idea. Hang them in your house somewhere. A little decoration. Thanks a lot, guys. Hi there, grown-ups. We haven't forgotten about you. Your spiritual practice this week is to go out and get your hands in some dirt. We're out here in the ending of um, part of our garden this year and we have dirt. And I'm going to have to actually tend to this this week to get all of this out of here to do some some fall planting. So it's always good to get your hands in the dirt. kind of helps you remember that we all need nourishment and care Just like that. And it also kind of, whenever I'm in the dirt, I always kind of think a little bit more about creation and God and nourishing ourselves and each other. So this week, maybe think about planning something, maybe some mums that are out there right now, but at least go out and get your hands in the dirt. Bye guys. At our very first Celebrate Wonder uh, celebration, oh adults, we encouraged you to the spiritual practice of creativity. I don't know if you remember that from four weeks ago, but we, uh, Ms. Laurie and I certainly hope that you've been able to engage in something creative as we've been having our faith focus work, word of creativity, as we've been hearing all of these stories about creativity. You uh, just had the spiritual practice offered to you of getting your hands in the dirt. That's certainly a way of being creative. Um, but we want to encourage you to continue into those acts of creativity. I have to say in the last four weeks, I have taken up cross stitch as a creativity. And so I made this little cross stitch of a frog. I really like animals. I gave this to my daughter. And I found it to be so fun and helpful and focusing and just a wonderful outlet um, with every stitch helping me to pray and to feel more connected with God. And I started another one. 
This one's a cat. You can probably tell that. Maybe you can't. But I encourage you to be creative, whether that's painting or cooking or sewing or woodworking or whatever the things are that you can do with your hands to express your creativity and continue in that spiritual practice. Thanks a lot. Okay, I am so glad you joined us for another week here with Celebrate Wonder. Don't forget about your celebration chart. Check off what you guys are doing each week. Keep adding those check marks. That's a great way to show how you're helping, isn't mm -hmm. it, Ms. Lari? Yes. Do your celebration chart, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. As before we head into our song, I want you to in invite you all to join in your spiritual practice for this week. This is in your book. It says to grab a glove. Ms. Lari, okay. you have a glove. Put one glove on one hand, okay? And then imagine that the hand that's wearing a glove is like God's hand. And then put your other hand right in that hand like this, like you and God are clasping hands. And hold your hands together and let's say our prayer. So repeat after me, let's pray. Creating God. Creating God. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for inviting us to work with you, to work with you, to make the world a better place. To make the world a better place. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us this week for Celebrate Wonder. High five, Miss Larry. And make sure that you stick around here for our wonderful song and our video. And we will see you again next week. Don't forget to sing along. Bye. Bye. You did first things first You dreamed of the earth And with just a word You made it so so good all the stars align just like in your mind everything in time you made it so so So